All right, guys, about to hit up the reverse leg lifts again. Just got done with a uh, short stationary bike ride, uh, like a hundred pause squats and calf raises and toe raises or tibialis raises, whatever the fuck you want to say. Uh, some pretty, you can see I got some sweat going already. So let's see what I can do, guys. I'm, whoo, my knees are feeling the squats. Pause squats are no joke, guys. Even if you're only using body weight, 100 is a lot. So let's check it out, y'all. Let's see what I can do. Did I not have this set up the way I had it last time? Oh, here we go. Maybe that's better. Is that how it was? That's probably about right. Got a little bit of a yoga mat this time because uh, toward the end of that last um, session, I was starting to get it. Like, I don't know, kind of like a bruising on my hip crease. Because this is a bit, you know, aged. So, a little more comfort. Let's get it done. I'm not going to count. Just going. Going and going and going. cramping out. That figures. Oh my god. <laughs> that sweat mark. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, pretty exhausted with the squats and whatnot. Definitely not doing as good. Also, I can barely I'm holding on to it like this, <laughs> so it's taxing my tired fingers a little bit. I'm going to rest just a little bit and do one more set of whatever I can get, you know what I mean? Oh, made my knees feel a little better though. I feel like the squats I do are so quad dominant, you know what I mean? feels nice to... uh do something involving the hamstrings. Whew. Well, let's get it done. Good enough of a rest for me. If I could do at least 20 more, that'd be cool. Oh, Jesus. grips this time.
cramp hits me. Woo! Oh, you know what, guys? Let's do three sets on this motherfucker. Oh my god. <laughs> Feeling it. Got some like dust in my beard. <laughs> it's like shock. Oh, so most important thing to do when uh, doing this reverse leg lift is to push, like push your abs into the surface you're laying on. Okay, so that'll help brace your core. Make sure everything's working. You want to co-contract the front abdominals and the back together, okay? You don't want to just use, like, your spinal extensors. You want to have everything kind of working together in tandem. Uh, just like you would if you were doing, like, a barbell squat or deadlift, you know what I mean? You got to brace yourself. Push those abs out. If you've ever lifted with a belt, you know, or you should know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's bust out one more, guys. And maybe at least uh, with three sets combined, that'll be more than 79 reps. We'll see. Hope to count it up after. For most bodyweight exercises, I like to just kind of do it until. I'm done, you know what I mean? Until like failure essentially. Ugh. All right, good grip, let's go. I think I could do more, and the muscles just start seizing. Ooh, cramping up on me. So hopefully, that was more than 79. It feels pretty good actually after the squats. I've said it before, guys. If you don't have balance in your exercise routine, you're gonna have pain. You know what I mean? So if you're doing a lot of quad dominant movements, like freaking uh you know, squats or whatever, or at least upright squats. You know, you're not leaning forward or hinging from the hips too much. And it's a good idea to balance that out with some uh, hamstring work. Maybe even some glute work. Reverse the leg lift's a good option. Uh, if you have access to it, definitely go for the reverse hyper machine. That way you can add weight and progress a little more objectively via measuring, you know, the weight you use as you progress. But uh, for me, I feel like my weight training days are over. I've had way too many back injuries. And I don't want to risk hurting my back again and, uh, you know, that like interrupting the flow of my training for climbing because I've had pretty good progress lately guys I don't want to screw that up and you know climbers be skipping that leg day <laughs> I don't I try to get the body weight exercises in build some endurance uh, at least get like a healthy muscle tone in the legs with some like basic levels of strength um, though I am Going to try to push my ankle strength a lot lately. Did a shit ton of ankle exercises earlier. Uh, same ones I posted several days ago, whenever that was. Um, I think that is probably the most important thing for 
bouldering that and like flexibility of the hips and legs and stuff anyway i guess i'm gonna go walk this off um y'all take care keep crushing out there peace